Have you ever walked along a beach and imagined owning a luxurious house by the ocean? Robert Kiyosaki did, thanks to the wisdom of his rich dad. Welcome to Wealthway and today, we're thrilled to share the 5 key takeaways from Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad's Guide to Investing. If you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, give us a quick thumbs up and if you're not part of our community yet, hit that subscribe button. 1. Create Assets That Buy Assets Creating assets that buy assets is like setting up a perpetual money generator. While Robert's real dad toiled away for a paycheck, his rich dad understood the power of building assets. The secret sauce? Passive income. Picture this. While you're catching Z's or sipping a pina colada on a beach, your assets are hard at work. Earning money for you. It's the ultimate dream. Financial independence without being tied to a desk from 9 to 5. So how do you join the ranks of those who make money effortlessly? It starts with a mindset shift. Instead of solely relying on your labor for income, focus on creating assets that work for you. Whether it's rental properties, dividend-paying stocks, or online businesses, these assets generate cash flow even when you're not actively working. It's a game changer that can transform your financial future. 2. Use debt as a lever Let's unpack the concept of using debt as a lever. Debt often gets a bad rap, and for good reason. If used recklessly, it can lead to financial ruin. But here's the thing, not all debt is created equal. There's bad debt, which drains your resources and leaves you worse off than before. Think credit card debt or high interest loans for non-appreciating assets. Then there's good debt the kind that can turbocharge your wealth-building efforts. Good debt is strategic, used to acquire assets that generate income and appreciate over time. So, how do the wealthy use debt to their advantage? It's all about leveraging their resources to maximize returns. Instead of sinking their own capital into every investment, they use debt to finance a portion of the purchase. This allows them to acquire more assets with less upfront capital, increasing their overall return on investment. And because the assets they're acquiring are income-producing, they're able to cover the debt payments and generate surplus cash flow. A win-win situation. But here's the key. It's not just about taking on debt for the sake of it. The wealthy are strategic in their approach carefully evaluating opportunities and assessing risk before making a move. They understand that debt can amplify both gains and losses, so they use it judiciously and responsibly. By leveraging debt to acquire income-producing assets, they're able to accelerate their wealth-building journey and achieve financial freedom faster than they ever thought possible. So, the next time you hear the word debt, don't immediately recoil in fear. Instead, Consider how you can use it as a tool to unlock new opportunities and propel yourself towards your financial goals. 3. Maximize Expenses, Minimize Income Let's dive deeper into the idea of maximizing expenses and minimizing income. At first glance, it might seem like a backwards approach to building wealth. After all, isn't the goal to save as much money as possible? Well, yes and no. While it's important to be mindful of your spending, Obsessing over pinching pennies can sometimes hold you back from achieving your financial goals. Instead, think of expenses as investments in your future. By strategically allocating your resources towards activities and assets that have the potential to generate long-term returns, you're laying the groundwork for financial success. So where should you focus your expenses? Education is a great place to start. Whether it's taking courses, attending seminars, or hiring a mentor, investing in your knowledge and skill set can pay dividends down the road. The more you know about your industry, your market, and your craft, the better equipped you'll be to succeed in business. Plus, continuous learning keeps you adaptable and ahead of the curve in a rapidly changing world. But education is just one piece of the puzzle. You should also consider investing in assets that have the potential to grow your wealth. This could mean purchasing real estate, investing in stocks or bonds, or starting your own business. By putting your money to work for you, rather than letting it sit idle in a savings account, you're maximizing its potential to generate returns. 
And while there's always a risk involved in investing, the potential rewards far outweigh the costs. So, instead of focusing solely on minimizing your personal income, think about how you can strategically allocate your resources to maximize your long-term financial growth. 4. Acquire the 3 E's Let's talk about the 3 E's. Education, Experience, and Excess Cash These are the secret ingredients that can unlock the door to financial success. First up, Education now, I'm not just talking about getting a degree and calling it a day. I'm talking about constantly seeking knowledge, whether it's through books, courses, or mentors. The more you know about business, investing, and money management, the better equipped you'll be to make smart financial decisions. Next, we have experience. They say experience is the best teacher, and they're not wrong. There's only so much you can learn from books or lectures. At some point, you've got to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty. Start that side hustle, launch that business idea you've been sitting on, or take on new challenges at work. Every failure, setback, and success will teach you valuable lessons that you can't learn anywhere else. And finally, we have excess cash. This is the fuel that powers your wealth-building journey. When you have cash in hand, you're able to seize opportunities when they arise. Whether it's investing in a promising startup, buying real estate, or expanding your business. So focus on building your education, gaining experience, and accumulating excess cash. And watch as the doors of opportunity swing wide open. 5. Start today Alright, let's talk about getting started. It's tempting to wait for the perfect moment, when you have more time, more money, more experience. But here's the thing, there's never going to be a perfect moment. So why not start today? You don't have to quit your day job and dive headfirst into entrepreneurship. Instead, dip your toes in the water by starting part-time while keeping your job for stability. This way, you can test the waters, learn the ropes, and build your business gradually without risking everything. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Failure. It's not a matter of if you'll fail, but when. And that's okay. Failure is just a stepping stone on the path to success. Embrace it, learn from it, and keep moving forward. Remember, you only need to be right once. So don't let the fear of failure hold you back from chasing your dreams. Take that first step today and who knows where it might lead you. As you embark on your wealth building journey, remember the lessons from Rich Dad's Guide to Investing. Build your money machine, leverage debt wisely, maximize expenses, acquire the three E's, and start today. Thank you for tuning in to another insightful episode of Wealthway. We trust that the strategies and insights discussed here will help you on your financial path. If you found this video helpful, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more wealth building content. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, drop them in the comments section below. Until our next rendezvous, continue your journey towards financial success. And always remember, your wealth is within reach.